Hey now, nah. hmm. my people, things that happen you know, for this planet Earth will be this. So, this video will not nah watch right now. That they interview one man where they work for mortuary. He go tell you now, nah, the caca we they for the business where they, they do for inside mortuary. Hmm. Now, only God, now nah, they help people. The guy go see tell you now, nah, the way spirits. They talk and everything. Make now watch the video. Please help me share. Thank you. This business, this work in the age of nine years, is my uncle who initiated me inside the world because he's an old mortuary man and I was living with him. He's the one that brought me inside the mortuary work, started to show me the mortuary works most more, and he's the one that initiated me inside the mortuary work. Up to today, I'm working the mortuary work. To tell you that before I started the mortuary work, I get a time to work my spiritual part. I do not stand up and start the mortuary work like that. Before I enter the mortuary work, I do some spiritual work, some spiritual tra tradition. I sleep in the mortuary and in the cemetery many, many days to work my spiritual part. You know, you have to be strong spiritually. You know, they, they used to tell us that if somebody dies in the mortuary, it's God that called the person. And you, as a mortuary man, you can't be angry against God. That is one of the things that we used to take and uh, it used to make us strong. Because I know that if somebody dies right now, it's the God that called the person. Uh, but when I started to grow, I started to realize that my uncle was not using uh, any, no, any mami water spirit, but he was using the, something we call in French totem. You know, totem in French is an is animal that you can use it and exchange your power through the animal. You see, that is one of the mystical ways that we use in the mortuary because uh, you can't just stand up and bath on anybody like that. Because if you have, the, if you have the, the totem spirit in your body, if you want to bath on that body who belongs to aquatic or negative somebody, the spirit of the animal you use in you will tell you. You see, when you touch the body, you feel some muscle pulls, you know. You have, they have many ways that they will, they will show you spiritually so that you'll be able to do the mortuary work. That's why they call me Shakal, Shakal Lucas. Uh, the, the name of Shakal is not my real name. It's a name, it belongs to some animal in the, old, in the giant forest. You see, before the, I started the, the, the mortuary work, my uncle take, or in fact, my family, my family takes some animal, who they call shakal, they cut the blood, the animal blood. Oh, shakal, which, which animal is called shakal? Is a, is a, how the, am I going to tell it? For, is a carnival animal. Carnival, you, you, you live in that, uh, at the forest. A carnival animal called shakal? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, so that is your spirit? Yes, that is the one that I take to do my own personal spirit. That is why you see me in the mortuary as a small boy, very young man. I will not be afraid of anything. I will do my work with, with no scaring. Because in the mortuary is a ritual place. They have, uh, they might, you know, somebody will come in the mortuary, is a boss, or is a friend of your boss, and they want to take some dead body water or some uh, dead body teeth. I can't say anything because uh, the man can put me inside trouble. Because one, first of all, he's a, he's a friend of your boss, and uh, secondly, he can do something against you and they will, they will sack you. See, a pregnant woman is dead, and the baby is in the womb. And the baby is less, the baby is also dead. Do you buy both of them together or is it what is the process? No, they don't bury both of them together. You know, I was I told you about the pathology deep. That is where they will bring the the, the woman, the, the pregnant woman in the pathology deep room. That is where they go pray the woman, come out the baby inside the, the woman with the woman womb, come out the intestine, everything and clean everything. We don't we don't, it's not good to bury the baby with the woman because once the woman is pregnant, it's somebody who is the stomach already. That is why we will come out the baby inside the stomach, we we'll clean everything, do the makeup, uh, we we'll buy some dress for the baby, arrange everything. And when the woman is inside the coffin, when she's lying in the coffin, we we'll put the baby under, uh, under her legs. So anybody who come will see uh, the mother and the baby that she was a pregnant woman who died. That is how we used to do those things. You have to be strong spiritually because some things that you will do, so you will wake somebody in the, in the daytime, but in the night you can't be able to sleep because you will see yourself discussing with the person like the person is alive. That is spiritually. Always the thing is happening to me. That is why sometimes I would drink. I used to drink plenty of things before sleep because I can't use ordinary eye to sleep. You used to drink plenty of things before you sleep? Yes, different things, different things. Has there been any situation whereby someone was brought dead and the person woke up? We hear, we hear stories like the person wakes up, like some of the cops wake, wake up at night and all that. Is it true? No, it's not true. Anything that happens like that means that the person was inside a coma. You know, somebody can do three months in the coma, even one year inside a coma self. Because somebody can be in a coma for one year? Yes, yes. One year, one year. If you don't take care, you think the person is dead. But the sleeping is inside uh, inside coma. You know, last time in the Kolebu Motri, they bring some, somebody, his family bring the person. You know, the, in the Kolebu Motri, they have hospital and the mortuary outside. So the person was inside a coma. The person do more three days inside the coma in the hospital. They bring the body at the mortuary site, and I was the one that bring the body inside the the the, the, the mortuary inside. So when I see the family, I call the family. I give them some paper to fill. When they fill the paper, I bring the body inside the mortuary. 
first of all, I have to come out all the clothes of the dead body. You know, in the mortuary, everybody is naked, man, woman, everybody. I come out the, the person clothes, everything. And I went, I went inside the co room to take some formal to do some injection. So when I take the, I check the formal inside the injection. I wanted to inject the body so that you will not smell inside the inside the mortuary. I realized that the person vein was 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 shaking. You know, normally somebody vein is shaking, means that the person is not dead. That is one of the, the way that they teach me. So I wait some few minutes. I see seeing that the person vein is still shaking. So I go, I call my boss. I come up, I tell my boss, oh, master, this dead body, the vein is shaking. As for me, I know that the person is not really dead. I don't know what to do. He asked me to wait and call the family. And I went out, I called the family. As I called the family, they came. When the family came, I told them that, oh, madam, your son's body, the vein is shaking. I don't know what to do. The only thing you can do is that you can take the body and go back to the hospital or in the house for three days or six days. If after three days the person don't come, out, come, out back, come back to life, you can bring the person in the mortuary. It means that the person is really dead. But as for now, the person vein is shaking. You know, you don't have to do the injection. You don't have to do anything. It means that the person is alive. He's not really dead. He's inside the coma. So that when we do, we talk to the woman. And uh, I wear some few clothes for the man to cover his private parts. And I put the body inside the ambulance. The family take the body at, 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 at home directly. So three days after, the family come back and tell that the person came back to her life. They don't bring the body back. So what, that is one of the experiences I used to face in my mortuary. So, so if, I, if I get what you are saying, it means you, you save lives? Yes, yes, many times, many ways. There are many ways that you will see God will use to save life. There are many ways. Not only in that way, there are many ways. But with time, we will know a lot of okay, things. But this, this is a peculiar situation. Uh, from some of the stories people say, they say, you people hit them with sticks, even when they are... They are when they wake up, you hit them with sticks and all those things. So it means you, some of you ki rather kill them. You know, they are not killing them. You know, in the mortuary, I say that they have different departments. They have some people who belong to a court. court. Those people, their spirit is very stubborn. Really, you know, sometimes you can go and bury somebody in the village. In the road, the car will spoil many, many several times. You see, they are, it's, a, it's a spiritual place. That's what I say. But is that not a coincidence? No, it's not a coincidence. Normally in the mortuary, before the first person who is going to open the mortuary door would knock three times. You have to knock the door three times. Even the co room. The co room is like a 40 feet container. Do you know the container 40 feet? It's like that. You have to knock three times because sometimes, you know, there are many, many things we go on in the mortuary. You know, some, some body, dead body, if you use, you know, some people in the mortuary are doing wrong, wrong things. You know, sometimes people used to sell uh, dead body waters. People used to sell some, uh, you know, the rag that take the covered dead body. Is that thing is powerful? Very, it's very powerful. People used to sell that one too. What are some of the wrong ways that that uh, that some of them are The wrong way is, exactly, somebody is coming to do the ritual in the mortuary, and one of the mortuary men will accept that. We agree that that is one of the wrong way. Like I told you last time in the mortuary, somebody, some mortuary man caught uh, somebody prick who were twins. The person was twins. I caught the person pre to go and sell in the native doctor somewhere. The mortuary man cuts the, yes, the, 